It's for others and it's online. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rover line. It may not always be on time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rover line. Hello, Queensland. I'm Nick Lindy, and welcome to Rover Line. It's just me hosting this week but it'll be a short episode, so let's get to the headlines. The Queensland Rovers annual report presentation has been postponed. A new date will be posted once it's confirmed. Tickets for St George's Ball are now on sale. More information in the upcoming events segment. And Queensland Rovers will issue a national centenary badge to every rover in the state. Your crew leader will be asked to provide information for your crew and the badges will be sent to them. This is Hashtag Rovers Do Stuff, the segment where we highlight the rovers that are doing stuff. Last weekend saw a test and track moot run at Karingal, just south of Brisbane. Crews put their bash cars to the test and practice their driving skills ahead of Banana Bash in October. In early May, the Kings Langley Rover Crew in New South Wales ran another successful formal regressive Macca's dinner, visiting three McDonald's restaurants dressed in formal wear and some bringing their own plates, cups and silverware, while also raising funds for the Westmead Children's Hospital in Western Sydney. Gateway Rover Crew took a page out of a few other crews programs and held their own Bob Ross night. And St John's Wood had a hip hop night and put together some choreography for a video posted on Facebook. To get your cruise events and activities shown on this segment, don't forget to add hashtag QLD Rovers and hashtag Rovers Do Stuff to your Facebook and Instagram posts. Tickets for Queensland Rovers Night of Nights St George's Ball are now on sale. The ball celebrating 100 years of Rovers will be held on the 25th of August at the Brisbane Convention Centre. The theme is a splash of red and the event is open to anyone and everyone. If you buy your tickets before June QBRC meeting on the 17th of June, you will be in the running to have your ticket refunded. That's right, a free ticket to St George's Ball 2018. A Goonery will be on on the 22nd to the 28th of September. The theme is Around the World in 80 Days, and applications close tonight. Banana Bash will follow Goony from Friday the 28th of September, and racing through the long weekend till Monday the 1st of October. So start tuning those engines now, because applications will open soon. And on the interstate side of things, Mud Bash is coming up in Victoria on the 9th to the 12th of June. Tasmanian Rovers are hosting a cocktail party in Hobart on the 30th of June, and have just announced their Rover Bowl to be held on the 10th of November. It's been an active month with the basic rover course at the beginning of the month with 12 rovers in attendance. The next course is on the 20th to the 22nd of July and is going ahead. It will be the last chance for those attending Agunari to get their basic completed before camp. After July, the next course is on the 2nd to the 4th of November. On the 3rd to the 5th of August, we have an advanced rover leadership course. If you're looking at being a region rep, running a major rover camp, or being on QBRE in the next couple of years, this is a great opportunity to do training that explains more on that. Applications close on the 13th of July. And that's it for Roverline for May 2018. You can find Queensland Rovers on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter all at QLD Rovers. And don't forget to check out the Queensland Rovers YouTube channel and Facebook page for all the videos that are being uploaded. Once again, I'm Nick Lundy from Roverline and remember to always be prepared. It's for Rovers and